What is Bakelite? Everywhere you look, you have plastics. Plastic is something that we have made. Plastics is both the finest and the worst expression of humankind. The promise of plastic has always been that we can mold, make, or create anything we can envision. This is the first synthetic compound created by man, a phenolic resin, the beginnings of the fourth kingdom on Earth. This is the world's first synthetic material, Bakelite, the very first plastic. One summer night in 1907, this material settled in a test tube in my great-grandfather's laboratory. It's a story about a man who had a lot of tenacity. Extreme stubbornness. He's a little eccentric. Leo Bakelin really stands at the forefront of polymer chemistry. Leo Bakelin was one of the new breed of scientists. Other people saw a wall. Leo looked at the same wall and essentially leaned against something that turned out to be a doorway to a wide open world. It's the latest thing, it's all the rage. Let us sing the praises of the polymer age. Bakelite was the first real molding material from which one could make virtually any shape one desired because it could be molded in smooth flowing molds that yielded objects that themselves were smooth, flowing, gleaming, and seamless. So Bakelite provided an open-ended play field for American designers. Bakelite invited industrial designers to think outside the box. This is a Bakelite guitar made in 1940. A Rickenbacker. This was the beginning of industrial design and mass consumption. Being able to mass produce at speed and low cost, Bakelite had no equal. He was in the right place at the right time. America in the age of invention. It seems invisible, but it's all around us. When he created Bakelite, he opened a Pandora's box, and it was made of plastic. A world without Bakelite would require an alternate universe. Plastic has promised that we can mold, make, or create anything we can envision. <laughs>